Carol Ponsford here, showing you what I created with this month's Stencil Club Stencil for August 2023, designed by Gwen LaFleur. I first started with my gel plate, a brayer, and some deli paper, and I wanted to create some collage papers to use on the background. So I took some paper artsy paint, I spread those the paint around to a thin layer, then I took the stencil and I laid it on top, took another sheet of paper and removed the paint from the openings of the stencil, removed the stencil and then I let that dry. And then I went ahead and took another paper artsy color, spread it on top on a thin layer and placed the deli sheet on top. I let that dry a little bit before pulling it. And I kept repeating this process until I got enough designs on the sheeted deli paper that I wanted to use for the background on my painting. The next thing I did was take some paper artsy paints, my gel plate I put some of the paints on, and a brush and onto some smooth Bristol paper. I started applying colors randomly on the page. Then I took a sponge applicator, the stencils, and some colors that coordinated with the background papers and started creating some texture on top of the colors. Then I started auditioning some of my collage papers that I had done on the gel plate until I found the perfect place. As I was spacing them out, I realized there were some pieces that the, the darker shade was behind where I wanted to put some collage. So I just took some white paint and put it in those spots where I would be gluing down the collage paper so that it would brighten up the colors. Once I finished that, I realized I liked the blobby shapes on my gel plate, so I added some white paint, put some deli paper on top of that, and set it aside to dry. Once it was completely dry, I pulled it off, and I really liked the organic shapes that I got. So I added that with gel medium. I went back over and added all my pieces of collage paper that I had laid out, starting with the back to the front, until I got it to look the way I wanted it to. The next thing I did was the white areas that I had on the paper, I wanted to keep those and with some of my later layers they may get dulled so I added some gel medium over those areas. And the next thing I did then was take some paper artsy paint and I rolled it out with the brayer just a little bit and rolled off on another sheet of paper and then just kind of started laying layers on top of my collage pieces to help pull some of it together. The next thing I did for the next layer was take some paper artsy paint with the stencils once again and a sponge applicator and I put shapes up on top of the yellow that I had just put on there. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is add one more X on there with the same color I used when I did the gel plate. And I'm going to take my FW acrylic ink with a baby wipe and I'm going to add another layer of color on top. And this is a place where it's good that I had the gel medium over the wider areas because it will make sure that I'm able to wipe back what I don't want to be covered 
and, and pop those whites back out in the front. I want to make sure that everything's dry, so I use my heat gun to dry everything before I start adding some highlights using the same FW acrylic ink in antelope brown. I continue working on this, adding layers and wiping back until I achieve the effect that I want to. Now I've pulled out my FW fluorescent orange and fluorescent pink and I'm going to go back in and pop some color on top of what I have to, to brighten it up. Noticing that I've lost some of the brightness of the whites, I go back in with a little white paint on the tip of my finger and dab it around. At this point, I decided I wanted to cut out the size of the painting and get rid of the excess so that I could focus in on what was going to be part of my 8x8 painting. So I took some white paper, laid it out, got it measured to be the size of the 8x8, and I traced around and then I cut it with scissors so that I had my 8x8 painting to mount onto the board. Now I could see that I needed something extra on here. So I got out some washi tapes from Umwow Studio and I started arranging where I wanted to add a little bit of extra depth for another layer. To make sure they're really adhered, I use some gel medium to paint underneath each piece of washi tape as well as on top of it to make sure it's really stuck down. Then I took a chip brush and started adding some more of the colors that I use in on top of the edges of the washi tape to help in integrate them into the painting. I also got the stencil back out and over those areas where I had painted I also helped integrate the paint splotches in with some of the stencil marks.
now I'm much happier with the outcome. So now I'm going to take regular gel medium and a brush. I'm going to paint the board with gel medium and then put the painting on top of it and then I'm going to put some magazines on top to help weight it down. Once I had the painting on there and pressed it down, I rolled it with the brayer. I turned it over and placed a tape roll and then some heavy magazines on top to weight it down while it dried. Once it was thoroughly dried, I needed to remove the edges that hung over the edge of the panel. So I flipped it over onto a cutting mat. I took an X-Acto blade and I cut off all the excess pieces that were sticking around the edges. Okay, we're almost done. The next step and final step that I do is I take the edges of the board, I left this one unpainted, and I'm going to apply clear gesso as a base so that I can add and bring some of those images around the edges of the canvas. To do this, I just use some of the same patterns that I used on the canvas with the same colors of paint and randomly painted little bits. After I got the sides done, I realized I needed to add some of the Antelope Brown FW acrylic ink to blend the color of the sides to the front of the canvas. Be sure to join Stencil Club by August 15th so you can have this set shipped to you. You'll also receive exclusive video tutorial and a PDF. Also, you'll get 20% off stencils every day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back next month to show you how I'd use the September stencils. Happy creating!